Hi, I'm Clara. Today we'll introduce the red column, the top six of our laser burst. Click the icon here. We can make a quick setting. Gas pressure allows us to adjust the pressure. The premise is there is a proportional valve for the gas. If there's no such valve, we cannot set the value. Shutter is the switch for laser beam. Click it. The red spot should be gone, and the laser beam is enabled to emit. Aiming is the red spot indicator. Laser is to shut the laser beam via clicking the left button of mouse. If we click the right button, the laser beam will be emitted continuously. Follow allows the height controller following. Gas makes us to choose the suitable gas. This part is for jogging and stepping moving. Click the icon here. We can make a quick sighting. It allows us to tick the options to enable the soft limit protection and show x y direction. Due to its in demo, if I tick the soft limit protection, there will be alarms out. And I'm not allowed to make any move. If we take the x y direction, we can say there is mark to note here instead the up down left to right moving arrows. A reminder: if we cannot find the cutting head, the gray x here. Please remember to tick the choice here, which I have introduced the left column in last video. You can click up here to get details. In the middle, we can choose low or fast mode to jog, and we can set both speed here. Circle plus and minus enables the B axis to do a simulate rotation. If it's an auto cutting head, the two buttons here allow cutting head to move up or down. If we take step here, the moving distance will follow what we set here for step. We can make some simple debugging here. Frame will run a rectangle range based on space of the whole file. We can set the frame speed here. Dry run enable the machine move as the drawing, but there's no laser beam, no following, and gas. It's a pure mechanical movement.
Return zero will move to the zero point, which all x, y, z, b, x will run. Pt log is a function to find the position where it stopped accidentally while processing. Let's start. We can see the cutting head is moving, and the stop. Please remember the stop position is here. Let's return zero now and then click Pt log. It shows the cutting head moved to the stop position. At this point, we can choose back or forward to make a tiny step to resume the cutting. We can set the back forward speed and distance here. Return middle is the x and b axis will get to the system zero point. Here we need to make the difference. The zero point in return zero is the joining zero. Return middle is the system zero. Joining zero and system zero could be completely coincided at one point, but they can also be two different positions. Manual center is mainly for some special tubes, which cannot make auto center. The basic steps are, we can do single surface leveling first, making the tube's fixture position is exactly the same as the drawing shows. Click set current position as center, save it and exit. Moving the cutting head to the center of tube X direction. Noting the X mechanical coordinate, take the results in calibrate BX center. We need to calculate the offset value and input the value here. Auto center will make the offset check automatically. It will find the suitable center way according to the current file. We just need click start here, wait for the results, and then save it. The bottom is a simple processing control. We can start to cut the file, pause it, and quick resume is to resume the cutting without peers. Continue will make the peers first and then continue the previous cutting. Stop will stop the current cutting. If we take a sample cut, it's not for formal processing. When the cutting is finished, the cutting head will stop at the end. Click the icon here, we can do a quick sighting. We can enable B axis encoder alarm. It aims to predict in advance the encoder alarm, which will avoid alarm during the process. Enable single part soft limit detect, allows the machine to recognize software limits based on parts, but not the whole file. For example, we are going to cut a file like this. We can see partial of the file is out of the machine travel range. If we tick the option, there will be no alarm to remind it's out of range. The machine will allow to cut all parts within range and not process those out of range. Check PEP offset before work start means the machine will find the center automatically before cutting. It's only suitable for standard PEP or tube. Plans allows us to control the machine working time. If we keep the first row at zero, the plans are not enabled. If we input a value here, let's say 10 for parse quantity, when the machine finishes to cut 10 parse, it will stop working.
My working mode allows us to choose. Float mode will take the current Y coordinate as the zero point to process files that are going to cut. Attention here, the files don't contain those that are in other layers and won't process. Workpiece mode will take the current Y coordinate as the zero point to process all files, no matter whether the files are going to cut or not. B working mode is strongly suggests to use workpiece mode. Float mode will take the current B coordinate as the zero point. It should be used cautiously. When cutting round paths, it's fine. But when cutting other mental tube except cutting round paths, it may lead to a heat between cutting head and the tube.